What's up, Rumble? This is Card Colony, and Jesus Christ is Lord. I don't really know where to begin. Anytime I try to do a video like this, I feel so inadequate. Like I just can't do it right for some reason. But I just wanted to uh, honor the memory of a friend of mine who recently died. His name was Amon J. Coleman. Amon Coleman. And uh, I knew him when I used to live in Northern California. I just want to take the time to just remember his name and just spread some awareness about who he was. He, um, from what I can find out, he died of uh, fentanyl poisoning. I don't know the details of the situation, but I don't consider it an overdose when a person doesn't even know that fentanyl is in it. And this stuff, I didn't know much about fentanyl, but after Amon was killed, murdered really murdered by whoever laced his whatever he took I don't even know and uh, man this is this is serious it's important to look into this and find out what you can because they're even lacing weed with fentanyl people are dying from smoking a joint and whoever expected that Anyway, Simon Coleman, he passed away in uh, February 2024, just last month. He was uh, 43 years old. He was <laughs> a couple months younger than me. And I knew him when I used to live in Northern California. I met him when I was in elementary school. And we both played for the, the Chico Vikings. Pop Warner. Man, that was fun. And Amon, just full of life. Uh, on the football field, he was tough. Man, he was fast. He was so hard to tackle. He was the hardest person on the field to tackle. He, jukes, I mean, we'd be standing still. Not running, standing still. Right in front of me. I could barely tackle him. And uh, he just, he was full of life. And he just had such a magnetic personality. Super talented. So we only played together one or two years. And then I think he tried out playing for the Chico Cobras, which was the other Pop Warner team. Uh, we reconnected in junior high and hung out. And uh, in high school as well. And Amon, I mean, he... He was a bit of a wild one, <laughs> as was I at the time. And, uh, man, he was so talented. I remember we were hanging out, I think it was like my freshman year in high school, and I heard him rap, and it was the first time I'd ever heard anyone rap that wasn't like on an album. And he sounded so good. He was such a natural. It just, I don't think he realized how impressed I was. He was the first person I ever heard rap. And then years later, I went on to rap for many, many years. But he was the very first person I ever heard that was really good. And uh, he was just talented. He was talented. He was outgoing. He was tough. Oh, I think he thought I was tougher than I really was. Because I knew for a fact Amon could stomp me in a fight. <laughs> he was just strong and tough and I would never want to fight him on but that not that I ever even came close to happening in the first place but he was tough man and uh, he was talented and he was just so bold man he was bold and he was funny and he was just like the center of attention and didn't even know it he wasn't like someone trying to be the center of attention or trying to be outgoing or trying to be popular he just was like that was my perception of him he just had so much uh charisma and personality and uh, I was just happy to be his friend and not his enemy 
<laughs> Although he didn't have many enemies. A lot of people liked him on. He was just cool, open-minded. And, uh, I mean, last time I talked to him was when I moved from Chico, California in, uh, 98. Probably hadn't even talked to him since 96, to be honest. And I've lived in the Midwest ever since and just kind of lost touch. From time to time, he would be on my mind and, uh... One time I did a Google search just to see, like, if I could find him. And I did, and I showed my brother. I was like, look, dude, this is Amon. I'm, this is Amon, right? This is Amon from, because oh, my brother played on uh, the football team with me. He's like, yeah, yeah, I think that's him. I should have reached out to him, but I didn't. Looking back on it, I really wish I would have. That was probably a couple years ago. And then... Well, I wasn't on social media for one. I um, deleted my Facebook, but I uh, was just searching for him the other night just because I was just searching for random people that I used to know from Chico, California, and he was one of them because he, he always made such an impression on me, and uh, then that's when I came across his obituary. I could barely believe it. His funeral was coming up, and... I was just searching online, you know, trying to find out. I, don't, I could only find two posts online about him. One was a quick video about him passing away on YouTube from fentanyl. Because I thought, man, he must have got murdered. He must have got shot and killed. He was big, strong, like he didn't die of natural causes. <laughs> he probably got shot and killed. He hung out in the Bay Area a lot. And that's what I figured happened, but that's that's not what happened. And, uh, so I just wanted to, to do this video for Amon, and, um, just to honor his name, and, uh, say goodbye. I think about him a lot. I think about how much life, what a force he was, you know? And now, he's gone. But the good news is, we both came from a Christian home. Christian family, and uh, we always knew the truth, <laughs> it was always in the background, but come to find out, reading his obituary, he was baptized in 2006, and that meant a lot to me to hear that, because I wanted to have hope that he was right with the Lord when he died, and that you know, even if he died from a, a fentanyl or, uh, poisoning, it doesn't mean that he didn't have a genuine relationship with the Lord and knew the Lord. So that's between him and God, you know, and that's already been determined. But I was just really glad to hear that. And I just wanted to honor his name. Amon J. Coleman died February 2nd third last month 2024 he was a real person that I cared about that made a difference just made an impact wherever he went and I'm sad for, for his family and his friends that he's gone so rest in peace Simon Coleman rest in paradise <laughs>